needs a helping hand. Barney helps give children the range of skills they need to grow. Sharing and good manners. Caring and emotional development. Imagining and creativity. Dancing and movement. And learning educational concepts through music and play. Barney, a helping hand for growing children. What you doing? We're playing, Barney, and it goes absolutely, positively... Uh, super D-duper? <laughs> right. It's great to be outside. It's been raining for two days, so we couldn't come outside. Ooh. But it's finally stopped. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Not again. Well, let's find something to do inside. Okay, come on, everybody. <laughs> What can we play on a rainy day Till the sun comes out and the clouds go away We can still have fun if the sky is gray When we play on a rainy day <laughs> Let's put together some puzzles Build a castle with wood and blocks mm -mm. We can play I Wish Shoots the dog new tricks Or make a big clubhouse out of a box <laughs> What can we play on a rainy day Till the sun comes out and the clouds go away We can still have fun if the sky is gray When we play on a rainy day Pretend we're on a raft in the ocean Draw a picture of a shiny new car <laughs> We could tell some stories, read some books Take a trip on a ship to a faraway star What can we play on a rainy day favorite things to do on a rainy day is to tell stories. Ooh. Hey, let's make the parachute into a tent. Mm -hmm. We could pretend we're camping and tell stories around the campfire. Oh, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> there, our tent is finished. <laughs> this is great, Barney. Want to hear a scary story? Sure. <laughs> scary stories and campfires go together. <laughs> <laughs> Scary stories and try to scare everyone. 
and try to scare everyone. Cause it's kind of fun getting scared when you know it's not for real. So surrounded by your friends, nothing will get you, but you feel that tingly feel. You feel that tingly feel. When the story starts to get scary, giving me goosebumps galore. I just cover my ears and close my eyes, but first tell a little bit more. First tell a little bit more. Cause it's kind of fun getting scared, when you know it's not for real. Just around and by your friends, nothing will get you, but you feel that tingly feel. You feel that tingly feel. to hear my sort of scary story? Yes. Okay, once upon a time, there were four friends, kind of like us, and one dinosaur, kind of like Barney, that were out camping in the woods on a dark night, when all of a sudden, they heard a loud crash. Like that sound? Just like that. Anyway, after the crash, Campers heard a how. Oh! What happened next? They heard a footstep on a twig. Ouch! Oh, oh, that wasn't a twig. Someone just tripped over my tail. But who? That's who! Jason was telling a scary story. Well, it wasn't too scary, but we didn't know it was you bumping into things in the dark. And tripping over tails. Oh, I didn't mean to scare anybody, but why did you have the lights out? We were making up stories while we're waiting for the rain to stop. Oh, that sounds like fun! On rainy days at home, Warren and I play pretend with a blanket. How do you do that, Carlos? We make believe it's lots of different things, like a raft on the ocean. Ah, uh, but we don't have a blanket. I know, but we could use our imaginations and make up stories that use the parachute in different ways. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I have an idea already. May I go first? Oh, okay. Sure. okay, I'll be right back. Okay, Bye. then. Uh, boy. <laughs> I wonder what Tasha's going to do with the parachute. Well, if she uses her imagination, there are a number of things she could do. Number? Did I hear someone say number? Oh, look. Wow. Why, well, that reminds me of a story about a very lonely little number. Oh, why, it's Stella. I, I mean, Tasha, the storyteller. <laughs> Jumbo. Ah. Uh -huh. Hello in Swahili. Oh. Jumbo, Jumbo, Tasha. What's Swahili? It's a language they speak in Kenya. That's a country in Africa. Wow, I love your clothes, Tasha. You made a really cool dress out of the parachute. Thank you, Min. My parachute dress isn't exactly like the kind women wear in Africa, but sometimes their dresses have lots of pretty colors like this. My hat is called a kufi. Did you say you have a story for us about a number? Why, indeed I do, Jason. It's a poem about a lonely little number. Oh, All right. I was just going to tell us a story. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Once there was a number whose name was simply One. He often played all by himself, but didn't have much fun. He was feeling sad and blue until he met the number Two. <laughs> They were happy as can be when introduced to number three. Soon came a knock upon the door, an instant jolly number four. They all beat drums with little sticks brought by the numbers five and six. Skipping rope was really great when joined by numbers seven and eight. 
And one was very happy when he made friends with nine and ten. Now I'm not lonely anymore, said number one to number four. We'll be your friends and play again, said numbers three and five and ten. I've had a lot of fun today, number one was heard to say. They finished playing many games. Can you help me say their names? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> now I'll count to ten in Swahili. Moja, Mbili, Tatu, Ne, Tano, Sita, Saba, Nane, Tisa, Kumi. Oh, hey, we can use these numbers to have some fun. Let's limbo! Okay. Oh, okay, let's see how low you can go. We love to do the number limbo. We love to do the number limbo. As we go under, we see the number is set at number three. The bar was set at number three. Everyone went under then. Now we move it lower to number two. So you can start to limbo again. We love to do the number limbo. We love to do the number limbo. As we go under, we see the number is set at number two. The bar was set at number two. Everyone went under then. Now we move it lower to number one, so you can start to limbo again. We love to do the number limbo. We love to do the number limbo. As we go under, we see the number is set at number one. The bar was set at number one. Everyone went under then. So we can't go under another number till we number limbo again. All right. Look, Barney, they're pretending the parachute is a blanket. You're right, BJ. Oh, I think Carlos is going to tell a story. <laughs> this is a story of a boy who went to bed with his favorite pillow and his favorite teddy bear. But he couldn't fall asleep, so he called to his mother. Mom? I can't sleep. Could you bring me a glass of water, please? Here's your glass of water. Now you can go to sleep. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, son. But even with a favorite pillow and his favorite teddy and a glass of water, the boy still couldn't fall asleep. Mom, I still can't fall asleep. So the boy's mother knew what to do. When I was a little girl, I used to pretend sheep were jumping over my bed. I'd count the sheep, and before I could say little Bo Peep, I'd fall fast asleep. So the boy's mother sang a lullaby to him. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, dragging their tails behind them. In the meadow, the cows in the corn. Where's the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Will you waken him? No, not I. For if I do, he's sure to cry. <laughs> and so, after counting lots of sheep, the little boy fell fast asleep. The end. Oh, I like your story, Carlos. The part about counting sheep was funny. Can I wake up now? Because I like to know where those sheep came from. That's <laughs> right. Oh, oh, look. They're all over there. Oh, maybe their little Bo Peep lost sheep. Yeah. I think they're my sheep, Barney. I followed them here. Oh, oh look, everybody. It's our good friend, Tommy DePaula. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Barney. Hi, everybody. Glad to see you again. Hi, Mr. DePaula. Call me Tommy, please. Okay? 
Did you say those sheep are yours, Conley? Yes, Jason. They live right in this book. And they're always running off to help people who can't fall asleep. Oh, well, maybe I can help you get them back into the book. Could you do that, Barney? Mm -hmm. That would be great. I'll try. <laughs> I'll just sit this right down over here. <laughs> Little sheep with wagging tails and fluffy coats indeed. Please come back into your book. The story then we'll read. Oh, 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 there you go, Tommy. Oh, thank you, Barney. Oh, you're very welcome. That looks like a fun story. And now that all the sheep are back in the book, would you read it to us? I certainly will, Barney. Oh, good. We won't make a peep. Why read to us about sheep? Okay, everyone. The book is called Charlie Needs a Cloak. Oh. Did you draw the pictures too, Tommy? I sure did, BJ. I am the author and the illustrator. Okay, everyone? Gather around. <laughs> Story time. Uh, this is gonna be neat. <laughs> Charlie was a shepherd. He had a cozy house, a big hat, a crook, and a flock of fat sheep. But everyone said, Charlie needs a cloak. Poor Charlie. He really needed a new cloak. <laughs> so in the spring, Charlie sheared his sheep. He washed the wool. <laughs> and carded the wool to straighten it out. Then Charlie spun the wool into yarn. Now, Charlie wanted a red cloak. So he picked some pokeweed berries during the late summer and boiled them over a fire. Then Charlie dyed the yarn red in the berry juice. Oh, wow. After the yarn was dry, Charlie put the strands on the loom. Look at the mouse. And every fall evening, he wove the yarn into cloth. Charlie put the cloth on the table and cut it into pieces. Then he pinned the pieces together and sewed them. And then when winter came, Charlie had a beautiful new red cloak. <laughs> I really liked your story, Tommy. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, me too. I never knew you could make clothes out of sheep's wool. Yeah, that's right. The little mouse that was taking something on every page was cute. Yeah. Right. Could you show us how to draw her? I sure could. Oh, oh cool. yeah. Oh, draw oh, right. <laughs> I'm going to start out with two sort of circles. Uh -huh. Almost circles. There's one. And there's another. Aha, yeah. uh -huh, you know what that is. And I'm going to put some inside of ears here. And I'm going to make two little dots like this with a little white space in them for our little mouse's eyes. Right. I'm going to connect these two ears and make a shape like this with a little point on the bottom of it. Oh, now, you know, the mi mice have whiskers just like cats because they need them to see if they can get into the holes, the little holes they make or not. Yeah. Now, another big circle like this, big circle shape like that. Kind of like that. Now, what should I do next? A tail. tail. Right, okay. Tail. So we give this mouse a nice big <laughs> tail like oh, this. Oh, that's okay. a mouse. <laughs> there we go. And some little paws like that. Now let's put some color on here. I'm going to put a pink, pink ears. Oh, yeah. oh, I love pink ears. I like rabbits with pink ears and mice with pink ears. And a little pink nose. And I'm going to put something here. See if you can guess what it is. What do, my, what do mice eat? Cheese! Right. And let's make it Swiss cheese. So we'll put some holes in it like that. Okay, now I finished that drawing. And what do I have to do now that I finished it? Sign your name. Sign my name, right. And I have a trademark. You know what it is, Barney? Oh, a trademark? Oh, it's a heart. Right, right. I always draw a heart like that. 
and then I write my name, T-O-M-I-E, Tommy. Oh. See? Oh. It's easy it is to draw a mouse. Now you can draw one yourself. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. We've been making up stories all day, Tommy. It's fun. That's great, PJ, because that's because you've been using your imaginations to pretend. Mm -hmm. And I use my imagination every time I make up a new story and draw pictures for it. Oh, we like using our imaginations, too, Tommy. Oh, great, Barney. Mm -hmm. Well... I'm afraid I'm going to have to go. I promised that I'd deliver this book to the library today. Oh. Um, and Barney, thank you for helping me get my sheep back in the book. Oh, and thank you for reading your book to us, Tommy. Oh, you're welcome, Barney. Well, goodbye, everybody. Oh, so See you again, I hope. Okay? Thanks for coming back. Bye, bye, bye. Tommy. See you soon. Bye. Thanks. Has anyone seen BJ? Who is supposed to tell the next story? Ooh. Hey, everybody! Look what I just made with a parachute! Oh. <laughs> wow, a big umbrella! Come on, we'll go outside and play, because this umbrella is big enough for a dinosaur and all his friends! Okay! <laughs> all right, come on, guys! Yeah. <laughs> My, isn't this cozy? You, uh, uh, BJ, uh... Well, I don't think your umbrella is quite big enough for all your friends. Oops. <laughs> you would get kind of wet, wouldn't you, Barney? <laughs> oh, I think so. <laughs> uh, I guess my umbrella isn't big enough for everybody after all. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well. <sighs> It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. <laughs> it's raining, it's pouring. Rain, rain, go away. The old man is snoring. Come again another day. He went to bed and bumped his head. Going to start raining again. Oh, oh, I better go find 
my brother BJ now. Okay. Thank you for playing with me, friend. Oh, sure. Bye -bye. So long, Baby Bob. Thanks for coming by. So long. Bye. -bye. <laughs> This has been lots of fun telling stories, but we'd better get ready to go home. Okay, then. <laughs> Here we go. You know, Barney, staying indoors when it's raining isn't so bad, especially when we tell stories with friends we love. Oh, that's right, Tasha. <laughs> I love you. To all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Sometimes rainy days make us sad because we can't go outside to play. But there are lots of things you can do indoors to have fun. Have you ever pretended to camp out and tell stories? You can read books or do the limbo with friends. How low can you go? <laughs> Tasha looked very pretty in the dress she made out of our parachute. It's fun to be a ringmaster in a pretend circus. Min was a dancer. You could be the lion tamer. Counting these sheep helped Jason fall asleep. Then they went right back into their storybook. Drawing pictures is fun on any kind of day. You can draw a mouse like this one. Maybe when the rain slows down, you can go back outside under a big umbrella with friends you love. And remember, I love you. to boot scoot down the Wiggly Trail. We went cowboy hats. We like to boot scoot all day. Hi, everyone. We're, We're the, the Wiggles. Wiggles. Why don't you saddle up and come along with us? There's a heap of Western adventure and musical fun. All the sights and sounds of the Wiggly Trail. This is going to be great fun, guys. First things first, whatever you do, don't get distracted by the fun and games. The mechanical bull! Yeah! Oh, competition! The fastest banana in the West competition! Oh, I love bananas. Ho oh, ho! There's only room in this town for one big banana. Now, partner, and round up some Wild West fun with the Wiggles. The Wiggles, cold spaghetti western. Now available on video and DVD from Hit Entertainment. For the first time on DVD, when a magical princess appears from the pages of a storybook, where am I? It's up to Barney and his friends to use their imaginations and help her find her way home. Hi, Barney. 
now you can journey into the land of make-believe. In the land of make-believe, you can meet almost anybody like me. And discover that no matter who you are or where you go, anything can happen as long as you use your imagination. Anything can happen. Anything can be. Anything can happen in the world. Bring home Barney's biggest adventure ever. Filmed on location at Universal Orlando Resort. And you could meet a beautiful mermaid. Hello. Dancing dolphins. And a marvelous magician. Sizzling salamanders. Barney's Land of Make Believe. You can be part of an adventure as big as your imagination on DVD and video. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. Join in the celebration of 60 years of Thomas and Friends. Thomas and his very useful crew invite you to sing along with eight great sing along songs. Jesus, Plus, take to the tracks with Thomas in two new enchanting adventures never before on home video. Good work, Thomas. Add songs from the station and other Thomas stories to your collection today. Available now on home video and feature-packed DVD from Hit Entertainment. Every big project, every big adventure begins with a big plan. Can we build it? Yes, we can! This fall on PBS Kids, Bob the Builder will take on his biggest project ever, building a whole new town. In the all-new series, Bob the Builder, Project Build It. But before he breaks ground, you can find out how it all began with Bob's big plan, the story behind the new series. Good work, team! The only DVD that gives you the inside scoop on what laid the groundwork for this building job unlike any other. Go! Plus, this DVD includes the first adventure from this all-new series, where you can watch along and build along with Bob and his can-do crew. Oh, how exciting. Bob's Big Plan. Bring home the foundation for fun on DVD and video. The fun is in getting it done. Movie Magazine. The Mighty Shark wants to star in his own movie. R R R. The Mighty Shark looks fantastic. And then, the Mighty Movie Star. That's me. The hero of the movie. That's me. Goes flying through the air to rescue Miss Winona like this. That's me. Don't miss the rubber dubbers uh -oh. in Finvar, the mighty movie star. Plus, four more fantastic stories now available from Hit Entertainment. If you go through Doc's workshop and sneak past his clever dog Sprocket, you'll enter the amazing underground world of Jim Henson's Fraggle Rock. Fraggle? Did you say Fraggle? What's a Fraggle? Fraggles are the fun-loving, game-playing, song-singing, furry creatures that play all day long. Okay, maybe a little slower. There's Gobo. Gobo's the name adventures And Moki, who is amazed by the whole world. Come on, everybody, what a rushy rushes. There's one bleat, the <clears throat> calm one. And Red, who is always ready for a challenge. Oh, I bet I come in first. Whoa. And then there's Boober, who is, well, Boober. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, <laughs> the radishes are my life. Uh, right. Just don't get caught by the Gorks when you're visiting their radish garden. It won't get into my garden. Well, my name's not Junior. <laughs> you fellow! I said don't get caught. Oh, no. That's better. And don't forget those busy doozers. Architecture's meant to be enjoyed. And Gobo's adventurous uncle, Traveling Matt. He's brave enough to explore the real world. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, sorry. Don't forget the all-knowing trash heap, the pipe bangers, the minstrels. There's a whole world of music, laughter, and magical wonder just beyond the wall. Oh, oh, oh. It's always exciting to Fraggle Rock. Jim Henson's Fraggle Rock. Now available on VHS and DVD from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Down at Fraggle Rock. Down at Fraggle Rock. Down at Fraggle Rock.
Fraggle Rock. There's lots more silly and lots more smart coming your way in Todd World. You'll find out there's no place like home, even if it's a spaceship. See Todd and his friends in Come Over to My House from Hit Entertainment, available fall 2005. Then read and play with the first sticker books from Little Brown and Company. Todd World, very silly, very smart. See you next time. Love, Todd. Gipper is on the march toward adventure in his new video, Puppy Love. It's magical. Bum, 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 bum. Musical. Boom, body, boom. <laughs> Mischievous. <laughs> now, stop it. <laughs> Mysterious. Oh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> and always merry. If I blow up lots of balloons, it makes me go all giggly. <laughs> Look for Kipper and Company in Puppy Love. Yeah. Now available from Hit Entertainment. Introducing a very special girl. And now presenting Frances. And a very special world of fun. Now, who's ready to play? <laughs> and right in the middle of it all. Is Francis. Just to warn you, I'm a big girl with sharp claws. Hit Entertainment and the Jim Henson Company bring this beloved classic storybook character to life. I bet you're looking for Francis. She's not here. I am Francina, the princess of everything on Earth, including the universe. Each episode has three delightful stories, all about taking on the challenges of childhood. I wish I didn't have a sister. Then we would be going to Lizardland today. And if there's anyone ready to take on that challenge, it's Francis. You can do the writing, and I'll do the thinking. You're very good at thinking. With a song and a dance, she'll find a solution to any problem. I, Francis, have a good idea. And it just wouldn't be Francis without her mom. You did a very nice thing. The right person. Her dad. We're going to have a great time. Her little sister, Gloria. Stop, Gloria! And her best friend, Albert. I love the name Francis. After all, Francis is the name of my best friend. Ready or not, she's on her way. That sounds like a plan. Get in touch with your inner Francis. As Francis, the star of Russell Hoban's Cherished Children's Books, comes to DVD and VHS, spring of 2006. Hooray, Hooray for Francis! Francis. That's 